As you might have guessed, shares of electric vehicle maker BYD fell overnight on Bidf news that Warren Buffett Bidf stock had reduced his stake in the company. The Bidf stock news was reported by CNBC's Squawk Box team. When comparing the two companies, it's important to understand the differences. BYD sells electric cars and is one of the world's leading producers of these vehicles. In the first quarter of this year, the company sold 55,000 new energy vehicles, including plug-in hybrids. The Bidf company plans to sell a further 220,000 EVs by 2021 if it continues at the same pace. Both companies are positioned well in their home markets. However, they face some demand concerns. Shares of BYD Company Limited H fell in Hong Kong overnight. The company, which produces electric vehicles, is a member of the consumer cyclical sector. Berkshire Hathaway recently trimmed its stake in BYD. The move was reported by CNBC's Squawk Box team. The company is closely related to Tesla in that it makes many of the key parts of EVs. BYD also makes batteries for Tesla and other automakers. It also hopes to become a major battery supplier for third-party automakers. Toyota, for example, will use BYD batteries in an upcoming small EV for the Chinese market. The company is also considering actively participating in Toyota's larger EV push in coming years. Several partnerships with automakers have helped BYD advance its plans for autonomous driving. The company plans to use NVIDIA's drive system in its 2023 models, and has partnered with Baidu in the autonomous vehicle space. It also has a stake in LiDAR supplier RoboSense and is developing its own chip to be used in smart driving. BYD is moving away from pure electric cars and into more upmarket models. It also has a solar and energy storage business, and other operations. Its chairman recently said the company plans to add driver assist systems to its EVs by 2023. If BYD can maintain its momentum, it will have an advantage over its rivals. BYD Company Limited is a Chinese company that manufactures automobiles and other transportation equipment. The company also manufactures electronics for everyday use, such as rechargeable batteries and photovoltaic products. The company sells cars and auto parts and has a strong presence in Europe, the United States, and China. Despite the recent drop in stock price by DV, the company is still doing well. It has executed its strategy well and demonstrated good growth in recent months. The company's shares have fallen substantially in recent days, but investors should still look for a good long-term value in these shares. In the near term, commodity by stock price today may act as a headwind.